Hello everyone, in this tutorial I want to show how to install Quitopia on your Mini 2440. Um, most of you, uh, if you bought this unit, it's pretty amazing and I really like it, so I want to show you how to install the basic parts of it. Um, if you're running Windows 7, you might want to install Windows Virtual PC. I'm going to post the link down below because the drivers that load actually connects through the, to the USB of the Mini 2440 will now work on Windows 7 so you're gonna need a Windows XP machine. Um, the first of all what you have to do is download all the tools. Um, I'm gonna go over the tools that you're gonna need. The one will be the, the drivers, the USB drivers, the, and the DNW download tool, the bootloader, kernel and file system with Qtopia of course. Um, first of all what we're gonna do is just go to the Mini 440 site where you're going to find all the tools. So we click right here and downloads. And first, what we're going to look is actually here the USB driver. That's the one that does not work on Windows 7, so that's why we need the Windows XP PC. Here, I'm going to create a new folder for it just to keep everything organized. I'm going to call the Mini 2440 and download. Now I'm going to download the rest of the tools that will be TNW download. Okay, this one I'm not going to download because it's in Chinese. So I'm going to download the DNW for WinC. It's the same thing. It actually does the same job, but it's in English. Download that part too. Now I'm going to download um, the, the bootloader. I'm going to use Super BB. Um, and the latest version and we're gonna download the kernel C image. Uh, you have to know like actually if you use SuperVV you have to use a Z image not a new image because SuperVV works with Z image not new image. Um, we're gonna download the latest version there are gonna be a few kernel image files in there I'm going to explain later which one you're going to need. Um, for this part, what we're going to do is download actually the. Um, I'm going to download the 128 uh, Qtopia, the latest version. Um, if you look actually on your board, um, there are actually 64, and there you have the 164 and the 128. Um, the 128 will be for 128 NAM slash uh, or bigger. Right here, you can see actually which one you will have. I have the one megabyte, so I'm gonna use that one. Okay, so I mean the one gigabyte, never mind. Okay, so download that part, 128. So if you have new as me to 440, most likely you have the 128. You have to download the 128. Okay, now that I have everything, what I'm going to do is actually create a new image folder where I'm going to put all the images that I'm going to use for this uh, Mini 2440 development board because on the zip files you're going to find there are, there are many image files. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is just run all the actually the setup, the USB drivers. Remember, this only works on Windows XP. I mean, I haven't had any luck running it on Windows 7, so and it's very hard to find a Windows XP machine these days. Um, okay, um, have that part. Okay, now we're gonna. Okay, now after we download all the tools that we need, what we're going to do is just turn off the Mini 2440 and set, switch it to normal mode and plug in everything we use in the USB to a serial adapter and the USB. And remember, this has to be on normal mode. Okay, now what we're going to do is actually in extract the DNW tool. Just and we should, I'm just going to copy and paste it outside the folder. Um, this is the tool that will load all the, the kernel, the bootloader and the file system into the Mini 2440. 
Um, one thing you have to do is actually, since you run a virtual PC, is actually attach the USB driver, uh, serial to USB driver, and make sure check exactly which COM port it is. On mine, it's actually on COM port four, as you can see. It has to be between one and four. It can be anything else. Otherwise, because here you can, when you do the configurations, you only have up to COM one, two, three, and four. If you want to use this pro program, otherwise you can use hybrid terminal. Same thing. So, so you have to make sure you do these settings. Um, now I'm just gonna click OK. And let me see. Serial connect. And now you can see COM four, which 150, 200 bits per second. There we go. That's actually after you turn on the unit, you will see the. Um, that's it up and turn it off and back on and that's what happens you will see actually the menu bar um, this is the part where actually after you also turn on the unit you will see friendly arm USB download the driver is actually installed in drivers that were installed previously detect it, continue anyway finish okay now you can see USB OK. Um, right now I'm going to transfer all the images I'm going to use. First of all, I'm going to use the bootloader. Since I told you I have a, a, a 1 gigabyte, so I'm using actually the 128. And uh, Linux, the actually the I'm using the T35. You have to check which one you have on the back of the screen. The back of the screen is a LCD T35. Uh, depends on whatever you have. You're gonna choose one of these images because the drivers are diff actually the different drivers loaded for different um, type of type of LCD screen you might have. Okay, the kernel image is right there. Now for last is the Kutopia file system. And there, these are the the three files: the the bootloader, the kernel, and the file system. So, any embedded uh, unit, you will have three. Also, you might have uboot, um, the uu image, and uh, file system. That might be different. The file system could also be. Uh, Android, so I'm going to show you how to install that later on in other videos. Um, this part first, what we're going to do is actually, if you look, go through the menu, it's actually format and M flash, and should, so we press X, and this should be very fast. That's it. Uh, next, what we're going to do is load the bootloader, download the bootloader, Super VB, and we click V. Now USB is waiting to download. We're gonna transmit. So right now we're gonna select uh, Super VB 128. That's the one I choose. Done. Now the kernel image. We press K for kernel. USB transmit and see image T35. That's because I have the 3.5 inch LCD screen. And now the root YAF image. Last. This will take some time because this is actually 60 megabytes. So, USB transmit. Utopia. Okay, and this is going to be you can go get some coffee, come back, and like actually I skipped the steps so here because otherwise it will be like a, like a 20 minutes video okay that's pretty much it now you have to switch it back from the normal mode to nan mode first turn off the machine of course turn it off switch it off switch it back on and turn it back on and it should load actually the new Qtopia the latest version 
starting networking apparently on. You can actually change the logo to whatever you want. We can actually adjust the screen settings. You can set one more time. Next, next, next. Now, since everything is going to be in Chinese for the first time, what we're going to do is actually switch it to English. Okay, let's click right here in the second tab, English. Okay, and we're done. That's all you need to know. It's how to inst actually to install Kutopia on your Mini 2440. Uh, we'll teach you more in other videos. Bye.